Hi, I'm Ken Truman. Welcome to another video from the DCAC. Today we'll be tying uh, two versions of the shipman's buzzer. The uh, foam bodied version and the Antron uh, yarn version. So let's get started. Flies come in a variety of colours. Uh, popular colours that I use are uh, orange, hot orange or fiery brown olive and black this one's got foam on it hooks uh, any lightweight wet fly hook B170 is good this is a barbless uh, this is a Sharma size uh, 12 hook sizes uh, anything from 10 to 14 12s and 14s are my most popular and black and olive are really nice good colours that work so I'll wind the thread, thread on till just, just past the point don't make it too long. Well, it's a, sorry, it's a, you know, that's a fully male heavyweight champ, which is probably a bit heavy. Um, unless you're using the foam one. The foam will support it. But, uh, the, the basic idea is that it sits in the surface foam, not floats on top of water. So, um, the... Uh, The Antron I'm using uh, for this one is a double uh, aero dry. I'll start at the eye, I'll just fraction behind it. Pinch and loop and bind the uh, aero dry. Keeping it on top of the hook. back to where you want the body to finish to just past the bar just past the point trim it off flush with the bend of the hook and the front off the same you can leave these longer um, if you want to leave them longer and then trim them off on the bank side which is what a lot of people do I tend to leave mine as they are uh, I don't like them looking too long Tiny rib, which is uh, this is medium pearlescent tinsel. Just tidy it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the dubbing colour of your choice. They're easy, easy to tie. This is olive. This is Andrew Ellis's uh, scruffy dubbing, sooty olive. I tend to use Andy's uh, dubbing quite a lot. In fact, I use it most of the time. Uh, recommended. I turn the vice away from me so that uh, when I'm doing the doing onto the thread, don't catch the point of the hook. Just keeps it out of the way. That's all. You need to be fairly spiky, but not not too spiky. Not like a hair's here. Let's wind it on. Wind the rib up, three turns, maybe four. Tie it off. And uh, what I tend to do is uh, varnish just to put a little touch of varnish on the thread uh, that saves you trying to get it varnish well it stops you getting varnish all over it dubbing whip finish and 
stripping the thread off. It's complete. I'm going to tie the, the foam bodied one now. The foam is uh, same hook. Use a lighter weight hook if you like. This this will flow. This the camera sound. I tend to use barbless hooks. The foam is a uh, four millimeter wopsy foam uh, in white. You can have any colour you want. Yeah. Uh, these are from Ibrook Tackle. Foam blocks. You get about, um, on average, 450 uh, foam cylinders from a block. It's, I think it's three quid a block. So same same start. Just put a bed of silk on, a bed of thread on. Just past the point again. We'll come back up to the top. Just some, just better thread is just to get the the foam to grip better. Pinch and loop. Keep the foam on top of the hook. Couple of turns near the eye. Just keep it out of way. Just loose wraps. You can tie, start tightening up. And then when we get to the point where we want to finish, then we'll uh, we'll tie it down properly. Just tying it down steadily, and it'll stay on. It'll stay where you put it. Foam-bodied version obviously floats. Uh, the Wopsy foam floats better than any other I've used. Same procedure with the length, cut it off flush with the bend of the hook and the front one to match. Pearlescent rib. You can change the rib if you want. Just tidy it down. They're brilliant flies these uh, in a flat calm. Just make sure you get the leader to sink. This is the, the dubbing is Adrian's uh, Pete Black. It was specifically tied for a friend of mine uh, by Andy Ellis. It was a, a mix just for him. Just it's it's not plain black. It's got little bits of colour in it, silver and uh, bits of red and it's very nice and I tend to use it quite a lot now. Moving on. Not too tight but not too uh, Ribbon just same, just exactly the same. So a good method, washing line method in a flat calm. Will catch, uh, it'll catch in a breeze or in a wind, but uh, in a flat calm they're brilliant. You just throw it out there. If there's a few fish kicking about, and leave it. But just make sure the leader's sunk. So I fish one of these on the point with foam body. Maybe a, 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 a buzzer on the dropper and the ordinary one the ordinary shipments on the top dropper the buzzer will uh, help to sink the leader bit of varnish exactly the same procedure you can tie off under the foam if you like yeah, let me see. It's a fairly simple fly. Good, good starter fly for starter fly tires. 
Uh, easy to get proportions. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.